Just another day. Driving down your favorite highway. Enjoying another ride. Except when that view of two trailer backsides are staring you in the face. We've all been there. Wondering if these drivers are playing games with us just for the fun of it. While you're sitting there saying to yourself, Very funny, you ass. This is a great joke. Eventually leading to something kind of like this. You doing something crazy. Very unsafe. Sad. What you wouldn't have known is that those two drivers were saying something like, I'm trying. These damn speed limiters. This is a joke. So, what's going on here? It starts right here with those limiters. Speed limiting. Why it exists. And why it shouldn't. Didn't know that some want to mandate that all large trucks are speed limited? Okay, let's 101 this. Speed limiters are governors on a vehicle's engine used to limit its top speed. Most commonly, they are used in large commercial vehicles with the hopes of gaining better fuel economy. So it all sounds pretty good, right? Everyone driving in harmony, cars and trucks sharing the road, all while saving a ton of money. There's just one problem with all of this. Well, maybe more than one. For example, let's take this scene. With speed limiters, you might think this is how it would be. Every vehicle driving along without hesitation or issue. But what really happens is something like this. Trucks eventually need to pass other trucks, meet their deadlines, and get where they're going. And while this seems logical, with limiters, the amount of interactions between vehicles goes up, which leads to problems. Okay, so it's not as basic as we thought. Let's dial up that problemometer and invent new words while we're at it. For all locations where the speed limit is greater than 70 miles per hour, a vehicle with a speed limiter set at 65 is exposed to a higher accident involvement rate, 50 to 80 percent more than vehicles traveling with the speed of traffic. How does that make sense, you ask? It's simple. The larger the speed differential between trucks and other vehicles, the higher the number of interactions between vehicles, which equals higher accident involvement risk. According to a study by Dr. Stephen Johnson of the University of Arkansas, the frequency of interactions with other vehicles by a vehicle traveling 10 miles per hour below the posted speed limit is 227% higher than when moving at traffic speed. Many motorists have the opinion that trucks going slower would be less risky and be safer. In fact, with trucks going at a different speed than automobiles, you have many more interactions among the cars. It is less fatiguing to drive for 10 hours at 70 miles an hour than it is to drive 11 hours at 63 miles an hour. And in fact, that causes more risk. It also causes more fuel consumption. So a smooth flow with the, the traffic at the same speed is actually the safest, most cost-effective situation. Okay. So, congestion occurs when speed differentials are greater. Not good. But what about the drivers? There are real people driving these trucks. Speed limiters put pressure on drivers to make up for lost productivity, which too often occurs in poor conditions, leading to the cause of the majority of speed-related crashes. Driving too fast for the conditions. And that whole fuel savings thing sounds great in theory. But what isn't mentioned is the fuel consumption of vehicles and trucks passing. The fuel savings for the trucks become irrelevant when compared to the frequent acceleration and deceleration required when passing vehicles that are slower than the average traffic speed. All right, you get the point. If trucks are forced to slow down, we'll be right back where we started. Or if they aren't, everyone might be able to get back to driving again. The trucks can pass each other if they need to, and you can go on your merry way. Heck, you might even give those drivers that keep your country supplied a thumbs up on your way by. We know they are. And that's why preserving trucks' ability to keep up is vital to safety and efficiency. So instead of forcing speed limiters into trucks, how about giving control to the best speed limiter we know?
the professional driver's foot. Consider yourself limiter enlightened. Brought to you by OOIDA, fighting for the rights of professional truckers since 1973. Enlightenment provided by OOIDA, owner-operator independent drivers association.